Okay guys, so there's a lot of options out there when it comes to wanting to uh, clone your hard drive. The big name brand that everybody seems to always want is Acronis. And Acronis, 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 Acronis. And Hirons um, is really big because it used to have the full version of Acronis and they since replaced it with the version that comes with Seagate hard drives and I want to show you how to get Acronis for free. Um, you can go to Seagate's website or you can go to Western Digital's website. If you go under their support section, their download sections on each of their websites, you can scroll down and look, and I have a Western Digital hard drive, and you'd see right here a Cronus True Image. Under Seagate, you would see Disk Wizard. All these are, are, are older versions of Acronis made for customers that have either a Western Digital, Samsung, Hitachi, uh, Seagate drive. Since Seagate and Western Digital own just about every brand of drive there is, um, their software is compatible with most of them. Um, all you have to do is click on this right here, and you'll see it's a not too big of a file, 273 megs. What you'll do is you'll download that, and as you, if you scroll down, you can see that it's compatible everything from XP all the way to Windows 10. Now, after you've downloaded that software, which I've already done, you'll download, and you'll get this right here. You'll have a user guide, and you'll have an installer right here. What you're going to do is you're going to double click on the installer. I'm just going to minimize this folder here. Now, if you're trying to do this and you use the uh, Seagate version and you do not have a Seagate hard drive installed, then it's going to give you an error, but since I'm using the Western Digital version, this is going to go through. So all you got to do is hit install. And this may take a bit, so just sit back and let it do its thing. Okay, so you can see that it shows that True Image Western Digital Edition is successfully installed. Uh, you can see over here that they actually put a little icon on our desktop here. We're just going to hit Start Application. Okay, and when it loads up, you'll see here that it gives you these automatic options to clone a disk, to add a new disk, to create rescue media. This right here you can see is actually locked. And it gives you the option for more tools, which it takes you to an online store. Um, you can see over here on the side, it gives you the option. Uh, you cannot sync because it's not the full version. And over here, it gives you the option to back up the entire PC to a selected destination. What we're going to do is go back over here to Tools and click Rescue Media Builder. And that gives you the option to create an Acronis bootable rescue media, which is the Acronis rescue disk, or a WinPE based version, which is locked again because this isn't the full version. So what you do, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Acronis bootable rescue media, and it's going to give us the option to create a um, ISO or to uh, straight up burn it to a disk. Um, it says we can create a CD, DVD, or USB. I don't have a USB plugged in at the moment. Um, so we're, right now we're just going to click on an ISO file because you can always use uh, Rufus to create a bootable flash drive using this. So we're going to click on ISO. It's going to ask us where we want to save it. We're just going to save it right to the desktop and we're going to put a little WD at the end so we know this Acronis is from Western Digital. It's going to ask, it's going to show us all the information right here and ask if we want to proceed. 
you see it creating the disc right there. And let me just say, for that being 460 or 460 meg uh, disc image, this creates it insanely fast. All right, so we're going to close out of that, and we're going to close out of this. Uh, you can leave that installed if you want to, or you can uninstall it. That's your own preference. Okay, so I'm going to show you that it works. We're going to boot it up with... We're going to test it with RM Prep to show you that the disk, if the ISO does boot up and work. File, we're going to boot from an ISO. We're going to browse to our Cronus disk that we made using from Western Digital. Alright, you see here it's loaded up into the uh, QEMU uh, environment here. You get this, you can go to Start Windows, or Chronos System Report, or Chronos True Image Western Digital Edition. This is as far as we can get into it, because if you go any further it's going to detect that there's not a Western Digital hard drive installed, because it's just a virtual environment. Um, if you have any sort of other hard drive installed, it will not work. You have to have a Western Digital. Um, the Seagate version uh, you can use with a uh, broader range of hard drives. Um, I could not show you that again, like I said, because the hard drive installed in my system is a Western Digital. Um, but there you go. You can see how this loads up and looks. It's an older version of a Cronus but it is a free and legitimate version that you can access if you have a Western Digital, Seagate, Samsung, or a Hitachi Drive um, and you can access it through the uh, Seagate Disk Wizard and you can access it through the Western Digital um, page here and I will link to both of these in the description I hope that you found this helpful um, I thought it was extremely cool. Um, I personally uh, use Mini Tool Partition Wizard or Markham Reflect or um, Isus Partition Editor. Um, I don't. I don't really feel the need to have to use a Cronus, um, but if that's your cup of tea, then go for it. Um, more power to you and here's a way to get it without having to resort to getting it through an illegal torrent um, this is legal for you to have as long as you have the, one of their products um, so I hope you enjoyed this I hope it helps hit that like button um, it really 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 does help I've created a patreon account if you guys would like to help support that um, I've got some great goals set up on there if you'd want to go check that out I'll put the link to that into the description as well. Um, be sure to check back, and I will see you later.